Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Today we're going to apply what we've learned so far to make a quadratic equation root finder. Okay, so you all know what a quadratic equation is. This is like a form or the general form of a quadratic equation. It has ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, right? So what we want to do is we want to make a program that asks the user for the values of a, b, and c and then gives the user back the roots of that equation, so x1 and x2, because every quadratic equation has two roots, right? So, well, unless it's the same, well, that's like the, an exception if it's the same one. But anyways, so we have that, and these are the formulas, or it's only two formulas right here. They're the same one, basically. Those are the quadratic formulas that we're going to apply. Um, so negative, negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, and this is the other one, you only change the, uh, this sign right here to get the other root. Okay, so, and we're going to show the user both x1 and x2 on the console. Let's get started. So, in main, we all know what this is, and then we start with initializing or declaring the variables. Okay, so, I'm going to make everything double. Just always make everything double, it's just better. So what, what do we have? We have a, b, c, and then we have x1 and x2, right? a, b, and c are, you know, input variables, what you're going to be asking the user to give you. And then you also have x1, we can call it, x2. Of course, you can change the names. It doesn't have to be like this, you know, just, just an example. Okay, and then this is initializing... Um, I mean, declaring the variables, right? And then you have the uh, the stage of actually asking the user to enter A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and ask him to put in A. Um, let's say enter A or enter value of A, okay? And then give him a and L or nope and L right there okay and then allow him to enter it there you go so that means what we're doing is we're getting the value of a and we're putting it in a okay and then just do the same thing for B and C right so enter the value of B and change this to b because we want to see in the value of b or the second value he enters into the b variable. We want to do the same thing for the third variable so whatever he enters third is going to be the c value right here. Okay so this is asking him to enter a value of a and then it gets the value of a it waits for him to enter it and then after he enters it it asks him to enter the value of b and then it waits for him to enter b and then from after he enters b it goes to ask him about c and then he enters c okay now now we want to calculate x1 okay x1 equals and we looked at the formula right here it's right there so let's make x1 this the one with the positive sign okay see how x2 is going to have the negative sign so Remember the uh, rules of precedence in this because we're really going to need it. Okay, so x1 is going to equal basically negative b, okay, plus, and let's make some parentheses. And in those parentheses, what are we doing? Basically, we have a subtraction sign, okay? You should follow along with me, like, you should be looking right here and like comparing that to what I'm writing or something okay now, of course, I assume that you guys know what a quadratic equation is you know so okay so minus 4 times a times c okay and over here we have the square root of b squared okay um, or no actually it's the square root of the whole thing but this is b squared right here so we're gonna have a pow and so we're going to need to include CMath, um, the library, and we'll include it in just a bit. So let's have b and to the second power. So that gives us b squared, right? So b squared minus 
4 times a times c, okay? And then we want the square root of this. Um, square root is just a function. Maybe we didn't go over it, but it's just sqrt, and you take that. I told you to look at the link in my last video to see all the functions of cmath. Now this is the square root, and we're adding it to negative b, okay? And we want to divide this whole thing over 2 times a, right? So we're not just going to put a divide to a like that because first of all, well for two reasons, first of all we didn't put the multiplication sign and and the other reason is now what it's doing is it's just dividing this over this and then it's adding the b or the negative b, right? Because of the rules of precedence. But what we want to do is put parentheses right here so that it does this operation first and then does that and then we have a semicolon okay uh, for x2 we might we might like have it wrong we'll we'll fix it if that's the case but i don't think we have anything wrong x2 is going to be just the same thing except this sign is negative okay now we have x1 x2 and all you got to do now is see out um, your roots are and there you go and x1 you put some space maybe I don't know I don't really like it and then only two of those x2 okay and there you go and I uh, just put a thank you here okay thank you Solid. And put a, you're nice, just for fun. Okay, um, debug. Start without debugging, and let's look at the um, if it actually works or not. Okay, it does not work because sqrt is not found. P pow is not found either, and that's because I said we're going to include the cmath library, but I didn't do anything about it. So we actually include it this time, and now that it's included we can rest we can rest assured and start without debugging yes and there you go okay enter the value of a let's try mm, let's try i don't know let me try to pick some kind of easy numbers um okay so let's try is one zero negative one okay okay so there you go it tells you that your roots are one and negative one which is right because if your equation had, um, if your equation was just x squared um, minus one, okay, the roots are going to be one and minus one. That's why I just picked an easy example. Okay, so yeah, try it out. You know, it's 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 right. We know that for sure. Of course, this is not testing your code. So if if you ever want to like, if you ever want to test code, this is not how the process works. I just tested one value which is you know nothing really so but you know for the basics yeah that's how you do it and yeah let's just take out the thank you college don't thank me thank yourself because you're amazing and you're getting this okay watch my next video today we just made this um, simple uh, quadratic equation root finder next, next time we'll talk about something else I'll think about it take care bye